Hey, hey, Brian Sensei here. In this video, I'm going to show you my top five favorite Windows key shortcuts, and I'm sure you're going to love them too. Let's dig in. Okay, Windows key shortcut number one is Windows key plus D. What this will do is it will show you the desktop by minimizing all of your open windows. Boom shakalaka. Press Windows and D again, and everything comes back up. All right, Windows key shortcut number two, Windows and V. This will bring up your clipboard history. Down here we can see that I have three items on my clipboard that I've captured today, and I can go ahead and select the one I'd like to paste into my document. One quick caveat here, you have to make sure that clipboard history is turned on. To do that, go to your search, type clipboard, click on clipboard settings, and make sure you have clipboard history switched on. All right, Windows key shortcut number three, Windows key plus tab. When you do this, you will see all of your open windows and apps, and you can select the app or window that you would like to work inside. All right, Windows key shortcut number four, Windows key plus H. When you are in a document where you can input text, Windows H will bring up the speech to text microphone. I am currently capturing my voice to have it converted to text. And finally, Windows key shortcut number five, Windows plus L. This will lock your screen. You know, it's very important to lock your screen when you're getting up and walking away from your computer. You can quickly lock your screen using Windows key plus L. You will then see the lock screen and you can simply click on it when you come back and log back in. And those are my top five Windows key shortcuts. If you liked this video, please let me know in the comments below. Also, if you want to see more of these videos, consider subscribing to my channel and click the notification button so you can be notified every time I post new videos. It doesn't cost you anything to do this, and it will help me keep my channel going. Also, if you have a specific tech tip you'd like me to create, please let me know by completing the form in the description below. And I'll see you on the next one.